Hi, it's Janice Tark here and today I want to share with you something fun that you can do with middle school music classes, even if you've got little or no money for any instruments. Now, a lot of teachers have budget issues and very often you arrive in school and you'll need to do music teaching with next to nothing or in sometimes not even a designated room. So what can you do when this happens? Well, today I've got a solution for you and that is bucket beats. This is a great fun activity and students can earn an awful lot while they're enjoying themselves playing out patterns on buckets. Now you can get these heavy style buckets for around $5 from any hardware superstore or you may be able to find someone who will donate similar plastic bottles or containers so it costs you absolutely nothing. All you need then are some drumsticks. Now I do recommend getting proper drumsticks from music stores. You can also be extra cheap and have someone make them out of dowels from the hardware store. But it's a great idea to get proper drumsticks because it stops children's hands from getting splinters in them and they last a lot longer if you can afford them. The key to this activity is to have structure. Don't always just give out a pile of buckets and sticks and let them bash away. This is going to result in a big headache for you. Now, all you need to do is think about the class in advance. Think about the classroom layout and how you're going to manage them and what the rules are for hitting the drums prior to even entering the room. So here is the way we suggest. Of course you can do it in your own way and everything varies a little bit from school to school. I would start the class with the buckets lined up in two neat lines at one end of the room. Then when the kids come in, don't let them go anywhere near them yet. Sit them down at the other end of the room and then you need to explain what they're going to do and explain that if they do a great job, They'll have a formal wall piece by the end of the lesson. Now refer to my suggestion document below about more classroom management ideas for this activity. It sure could save you some major headaches. Now how do you make hitting a bucket interesting for the kids and give more able kids some challenge while making it accessible for everyone? I think the answer lies in multiple sounds. On a bucket you can get two basic sounds hitting the end or hitting the side. You can also hit the sticks together. Now let's make a start with a simple one that I've got here. And I've called this bucket beat number one and we've provided you with a print slide. It's a large template that you can print out or even enlarge on a photocopier if you can and even laminate like I have here. Now of course you don't need to show them this at all if you don't want to. If you're not teaching notation for whatever reason, you can teach this all orally. You can also have the option of projecting this onto an interactive whiteboard if you have one in the room. Now of course I wouldn't teach it like that straight away. Perhaps try doing it with body percussion first, using the hands on the side of the legs and the knees and the clapping. Now once they can do that, you can try it on the buckets. Once they've earned the right, then you can even hand out the sticks. <laughs> of course, getting the sticks is always a privilege. And they hit while you're talking, well, they're going to lose them immediately. But these are just some ideas. Getting the classroom management right is the key to having a successful session with bucket beats. You don't need to know a lot about drumming or percussion. You just need to manage the behaviour and keep the class interesting. Of course, bucket beat number one is a really boring title and one of the suggestions I have is that once you've been doing it for a while you might even ask the kids to name the pieces differently based on what they think it might sound like. Suggestions can be amazing. Of course they can do a lot more than just a simple beat. If they progress through these bucket beats in simple logical ways your students will not only be having fun but they'll be able to learn music notation and rhythmic skills as well. So watching this video is a great start to learning about bucket beats. If you're looking for more though, we've got a complete curriculum of bucket beat activities available in our new practical music lesson module called Bucket Drumming. And you can check it out by clicking the link below.